Hi Collective. Hi beautiful love bugs. Hi beautiful love bugs. Welcome back. I'm divinely Dustin. Welcome back to another video, honey. Happy Thursday, happy Friday. Oh, happy day. If you're new here, I want to say thanks for stopping by, honey. Please take a minute, like the video, share the video, leave me some comments in the comment section. I would be greatly appreciative. Our Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father is very aware and he's well aware uh, of the healing that we still need, okay? Make no mistake about it. We have a full moon pretty soon here in a matter of hours. It looks like there's people that are currently working now doing magic as I do this particular message to call some sort of imbalance or injustice to you. But our Heavenly Father, he's aware of it. Okay, these people have been doing this shit for a long ass time. Excuse my language. Yeah, I see uh, just what karmics do. You know, the karmics are doing spells, magic. <clears throat> wow. They want to know if the magic is working. Clearly it's not. It wasn't meant to work. Okay. You definitely could be feeling some effects of, of that energy being projected at you. You may not. Uh, our Heavenly Father... God keeps us safe. God keeps us safe through these attacks. But that does not mean we don't feel some of it, okay? You may feel some of it. You may feel the residual effects of the energy related to it. Okay. Yes. There's our beautiful, beloved Archangel Michael. He's with you. He's currently with the collective. With this full moon energy. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I see some very aggressive karmics here that have been on, on a rampage to bring about some sort of destruction. Okay. Wow. Very recklessly and very foolishly. Somebody's somebody's gonna be the uh somebody's gonna be the cause of their own demise. Repeatedly and continuously and consciously targeting you. That's gonna be the reason why they uh get taken off the earth potentially or put behind bars or suffer some grave injustices yeah this could be like the finale here i'm picking up on the finale yes yeah there's a male here i didn't want to say it earlier i was kind of just trying to wait to see um how the energy presents itself so there's a there's there's a king of cups in in in, in the knight of wands energy that's the culprit here today it's more than one mill here, but you know that's the culprit here. Yeah, I see. Uh, I see that the finale is here. This could be the last spell, or you know he was warned many times to stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, that's what the high priest is saying. Yeah, his magic is not working. The magic is blocked. There's a karmic masculine that has Pisces in his chart. The high priest is in the hangman is a Pisces individual with the chariot. Yeah, that's heavy water in his chart. Looks like he's hung himself. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Looks like he could be sacrificed here. Okay. He owes the devil here. Okay. He got to pay up. He can't run from this. Yep. Hmm. It's over for him. Make no mistake about it. So if you had any concerns, which I'm pretty sure you do because you're tired of getting attacked and you're tired of the spell work and you're tired of the the energetic manipulation and you're tired of people fucking with you and you're tired and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired okay yeah well you're not alone okay wow I see justice you're not alone you're not alone I'm here and leave that girl alone justice in the chariot is, is on the way here for you somebody could bring some information to you about this pretty soon here Libra season, Scorpio season, maybe even next year. Okay. January or February. Pisces season. You can hear some information. Someone could bring you direct information or with the two of wands, yes. That's information related to what happened to you. Okay. Don't yeah, it may be traumatizing and shocking. Okay, try to stay calm. Yeah, I see four, four, four. And then I see four of cups here. And a queen of this this divine feminine is just minding her business. Divine masculine is just minding his business here. Okay, there's a heightened there's a heightened 
sense of awareness that divine feminine is experiencing. It's no accident or it's no coincidence. She's experiencing this. A heightened sensitivity and a heightened sense of awareness. Divine masculine, he could be in those energies today too. Yes, I see the six of pentacles. Mm -mm. There's a masculine energy that's going to give you some information about a case here pertaining to you. Okay. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Some information is going to be coming in. Yeah, make no mistake about it. And you know what? These karmics, they know about it. They know about it. Okay. And if they don't know, now they know. Okay. Biggie Smalls could be your favorite rapper. God rest his soul. Okay. A Gemini could be significant here. Your enemies are going through changes. There's a male here that's... You know of... That manifested their own demise. By targeting you. They targeted you for... Uh, abundance reasons. This male wanted to steal your inheritance. Or, yeah, he's been doing things. He's been stealing from you. This could be a female and masculine energy. Could be different people. Period. They wanted your spiritual abilities. They wanted your favor. They wanted the favor that God has on you to come to them. They wanted your blessings. They wanted your heart, your spiritual inheritance. They wanted your abundance. Okay? They targeted you for financial reasons. They stole your energy. You know that, okay? The Eight of Swords. Mm. The Eight of Swords. This individual took you through some changes. You advanced spiritually. Your gifts became more. Uh, so you 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 ascended more rapidly because of this spiritual warfare, essentially. Yeah, the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Man, this shit had you stressed out. It took you through some changes. You learned a lot. You may be a you may be paranoid. There's a cop in the energies. You may be paranoid, more cautious now. About certain religions, cultures, different people. Try not to discriminate or, you know, single people out because what one person done to you. Okay, be careful of that, but it wouldn't be unusual. I mean, you had some bad experiences with some people, perhaps. Try to keep your heart uh, open. Don't close yourself off because of what one person does. I just see, I just see like a, a, or I just see a heightened sense of awareness that you have now. You could even call it paranoia. You're you're on high alert. Yeah, the Seven of Swords because of the deception, because of uh, the betrayals and the deception that was caused to you by people working together here. Mm. Third parties working together. Okay, what else is going on? What else is going on? Yes, I see the nine. They were trying to. Uh, they were actually manifesting pretty good off your energy for a while there, and others as well. Okay, they could currently be doing this to other people as well today. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Manifesting and making their wishes a reality or making their dreams come true here, utilizing. It's crazy. They steal your energy to manifest, and they also steal your energy to attack you. That, that is some bizarre shit right there. They make deals with lower level things, entities, deities, or whatever, utilizing your energy. Wow, I see the page of cups. Wow. Some may, these people are going to they're going to be getting some disturbing news. And I see 911 on my clock. I'm right on the money. And they may have already gotten some disturbing news over the last one to two hours, one to seven hours, or just a matter of one to two days, three days. They should not play around with this full moon. Mm -mm. Shots fired. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. The Ar yeah, that's Archangel Michael. He's not playing. Archangel Michael loves you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Make no mistake about it. Yeah, I see a 41-year-old, a 42-year-old, a 43-year-old. Here. Period. That they were trying to block from love. Heavy, 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 heavy. Binding work done. Breakup magic. Confusion magic. Crown chakra magic. 
Yeah, there's a male here that's a narcissist, a full-blooded, full-blooded narcissist, okay? Yes, that's broke today, okay? Yes, broke, broken and broke. Or inevitably, it's bound to happen. Financial curse. I see the four of wands. He targeted a twin flame here, okay? He broke your heart, she broke your heart. They betrayed you, they deceived you. They chose someone else over you. They targeted you. They started doing spells on you. They essentially brought a war to you. They paid a lot of money out with these spells here. And they put a lot of uh, hours in with these spells. Only to end up with nothing. But they shouldn't be surprised. It was never going to work on you. The two of pentacles. The ten of cups. I see a karmic masculine that tried to juggle. Like I, I channeled this earlier. Like, you're trying to juggle a divine feminine with a karmic feminine? Are you freaking kidding me? He wanted to utilize you as supply. Mainly and, mainly and specifically for your energy. He did not love you. He don't love you. She did not love you. She do not love you. It was about your energy, baby. Your abundance. Okay? And, and how that correlated with them and what they could get out of that. Empress. Divine feminine. Empress, you were targeted here with the judgment, and there was a lot of discussions behind the scenes about your abundance here. That Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael knows about this, okay? It's disturbing. There's a tower. There's a tower here. The Nine of Pentacles. They wanted to keep you single so they could keep you lazy or that's part of it. They wanted you to be lazy, uh, sick, not feeling well, you know, so they could just uh, suck and harvest and siphon off you. Wow, they're blocked from this beautiful earth angel here. Uh-oh, this beautiful earth angel here. They're blocked from... Hi, babe. Yes. Put in the freezer. Thank you, baby. The, de the, the death card and the tower here, that's Scorpio energy. Double Scorpio energy. Heavy, heavy energy right here. I said shots, shots fired here. And the tower and the death energy shows itself. There was heavy uh, death rituals done, death magic done on an earth angel. Our heavenly father and archangel Michael blocked it. Period. That's the truth. Oh, Michelle. Yes. Wow. I see the page of wands. Mm. This karmic masculine put you uh, onto a coven or something like that. He hired a coven to go after you or this karmic feminine. Okay. Yeah, they want they wanted your fortune. The Ace of Pentacles and the Will of Fortune. They wanted your abundance. You know that. Okay, you know that. I'm not going to make this too long. Okay, you know that. Wow. You probably would have never thought. You probably would have never thought that this would ever happen to you in a million years, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Okay. You may have never would have even imagined it to ever, ever be something that could ever actually happen to you, right? You don't bother nobody, okay? You stay to yourself, okay? You stay out of the way. But some kind of way you met a lunatic. Some kind of way you met a lunatic here, okay? That uh, chose to make you a target, okay? Right away. Let's go ahead and close it out. Aries, I see 411, 911. Very significant energies. Pay attention. Yep, our Heavenly Father is here. He wants you to pay attention here. You're safe, Empress. You're safe. Okay? You see this Five of Swords indicating the war they brought to you. Our Heavenly Father has blocked the magic. He's protecting you. Make no mistake about it. You may not be able to see what God is doing, but make no mistake about it. He's keeping you safe, and you know what? He's keeping you going. God is keeping you going. I see the nine of pentacles. You're single here. The eight of cups. Michael, Arch Archangel Michael has forced your enemies out. Okay, get out. They're gone. Get out. 
They keep trying to enter your energy, okay? They keep trying to enter your energetic field. Yeah, I see the nine of swords. Somebody not, one, one of your enemies are not sleeping. Possibly a feminine karmic. They both could be male and female karmics here. These karmic energies are not sleeping here. They know it's just a matter of time before the cops knock on the door, before they get pulled over, before they get sick, before they get evicted. They know something is coming. They could already be in these energies currently. Yeah. The moon card and the six of swords indicating spell work done to an earth angel here. They want to know how you're doing. So that's why they want to get in your energy to see how you're doing or to watch and monitor you after an, after an attack, perhaps. Okay, yep, there's the magic to stop you or slow you down. Okay, but you're not stopping and you're not slowing down. The Ten of Pentacles, you're becoming more, you're becoming even more powerful. The Ten of Pentacles next to the Devil and the Queen of Wands, that's a bad bitch right there. Okay, period. That's a powerful divine being that is not going to be put down. People often become obsessed with the Queen of Wands next to the devil. Yeah, she gets people, she gets people obsessed with her. Okay, it's her energy, it's her sex, it's her look, it's her popularity, it's her appeal, her appeal. It's everything about her ass. Okay. Somebody don't want to let you go. You belong to another. Okay. There's a knight of wands that just don't want to let go. Or he's been the one behind the scenes. Refusing to let go. You have a twin flame. The four of wands, the, uh, the ace of pentacles, and the will of fortune. You already have a destined partnership. A destined partner. Okay, I see the eight of pentacles. He's a hard worker. They're a hard worker. They hurt too. They've been through some, they've been through some things too. Divine Empress, because of a connection. Okay, wow. There was a betrayal, a heartbreaking uh, situation that happened for your divine counterpart in love. Period. They could be really over. Uh, they could be really, really analyzing this thing over and over and over. Or something, or yeah, magic being done to continuously keep your person stuck in their head about a situation that is no more, perhaps. Somebody don't want this masculine to get love. They're trying to block him from that. His wish fulfillment. Yeah. I see the two of cups and the star. That's the destined connection that's meant to be. Next to the ten of cups. That's, that's the ultimate wish fulfillment in love. That's the divine counterpart. Period. And the nine of cups. Make no mistake about it. <laughs> I see you two sitting on, you, you and your divine counterpart. Okay, your soulmate, your twin flame. I see you guys sitting on your porch, drinking your coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The seven of pentacles and the seven of swords. Wow. And the knight of swords. There was a lot of aggressive things happening here, or happened. There was a lot of magic, do magic done on your person, or a lot of manipulation, or a lot of, a lot of, messed up things that happen to your person. I see the two of pentacles and the judgment and the fool and the hair funk. Perhaps someone put a coven on him or a secret society on him. Wow. There's a karmic feminine that made some reckless, foolish decisions here to bring about some sort of drastic change or ending or alter alteration of one's path, specifically your divine masculines. Okay. Yeah. Very reckless and very foolish type of energy. The Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Anything and everything to make sure or to ensure that he doesn't have wish fulfillment in love or just in life. Okay. That's a narcissistic woman that he was dealing with. Our Heavenly Father is here with the Six of Pentacles. Wow. God is blocking something here. He's blocked something here in terms of your divine counterpart here. Yep, there he goes. He's keeping your masculine safe here. From a very reckless, immature type of childish lover. And that's still watching him today, perhaps. Or ex-lover. It looks like an ex-lover with the death energy showing up. A karmic feminine could pass away. 
or she could have a drastic ending, ending with the tower and the death. I see this twice today, okay? Mm. It could be a, a, yeah, I see, I see sickness and, yeah, that, that's a sickness. The tower and the death is a sickness, an illness, possibly terminal, okay? It's something like that for a karmic feminine. This could also be like the hospital or the jail infirmary or a, or a hospital or a doctor's office here. Somebody was willing to go all the way to their grave about stopping uh, a twin flame union from coming together. And the sad part is that's most likely where they're going to end up because divine feminine and divine masculines are still going to come together and get married and sit on their porch and drink their coffee if they want to. If you guys want to go further, please book me. Have a great day.